us understand the first question, look at this. A string is attached to a wall. <laughs> There's a weight placed in the center of the string, and I lift it at an angle as shown. I'll bring it to a rest position. Since there's not a pulley where the mass is attached, rather it is tied at that point, there is not a single tension in the string. At the point where the mass is attached, there's a definite disconnect, meaning I have a tension here that is different from the tension there. Now I can draw vectors acting at the point where the mass is attached. One acts to the left, that's the tension pulling that way. The other acts at an angle as shown, and of course, the weight, mg, acts directly down. Now since this is at rest, I can say, by static equilibrium, the first condition is absolutely true. The sum of every force that acts to the left will equal the sum of every force acting to the right. And the sum of every force that acts up will equal the sum of every force that is acting down. Uh, this should help us understand the first problem. So here we have two strings attached, one to a ceiling, one to the side of the wall. We'll call the one going at an angle 37 degrees, T1 is given as 50 newtons. The other string that is horizontally pulling into the wall with that tension we'll call T2. And the problem asks, what is the value of the weight. All we're given is the one tension and the angle of 37 degrees. We will always begin by breaking the vector into components. So there's the horizontal and vertical components. Now I know that if 37 degrees is there, 37 degrees will also be here. Now you need to know that and have that memorized. It's very important. Now I know that the force to the left, T2, equals that horizontal component to the right. It's the only force to the right, the only one to the left. And I know that the only force acting up is that vertical component, and it must equal the only force acting down, which is the weight. So I can set up the equations, but first I need to find the value of these components. So. We'll look at this vertical component. It is the opposite of the 37 degrees, so it becomes T1 sine 37. The horizontal component is adjacent to the 37 degrees, and it becomes T1, or 50, cos 37. Now let's get a close look and set up the equations. If I wanted to, I could say T2, the force to the left, equals 50 cos 37, the force to the right. But I don't need to find T2. Now acting down is this weight, and there's its vector, there's the weight acting down, and it must equal whatever's acting up. And the only force acting up is 50 sine 37. Therefore I can say W equals 50 sine 37 degrees. And when I put that in my calculator, uh, I see an answer would come out in one significant figure. I get 30 newtons. Now this is the first problem. And I would strongly suggest that what you do is do it all over again. Take your pen, your paper, your calculator, and do this problem as if you've never seen it before. And explain all the steps as you go. And when you can do it, then it's time to move on to the next clip.